This is the Hubblecast, news and images from the NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope. The Large Magellanic Cloud, or LMC, contains many bright bubbles of glowing gas. One of the largest and most spectacular has the name LHA-120N11, from its listing in a catalogue compiled by the American astronomer and astronaut Carl Hennais in 1956, and is informally known as N11. Close up, the billowing pink clouds of glowing gas make N11 resemble a puffy swirl of fairground candy floss. From further away, its distinctive overall shape led some observers to nickname it the Bean Nebula. The dramatic and colorful features visible in the nebula are the telltale signs of star formation. N11 is a well-studied region that extends over 1,000 light years. It is the second largest star forming region within the LMC and has produced some of the most massive stars known. It is the process of star formation that gives N11 its distinctive look. Three successive generations of stars, each of which formed further away from the center of the nebula than the last, have created shells of gas and dust. These shells were blown away from the newborn stars in the turmoil of their energetic birth and early life, creating the ring shape so prominent in this image. Beans are not the only terrestrial shapes to be found in the spectacular high-resolution image from the NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope. In the upper left is the red bloom of the Rose Nebula N11A. Its petals of gas and dust are illuminated from within, thanks to the radiation from the massive hot stars at its center. The Rose Nebula is relatively compact and dense and is the site of the most recent burst of star development in the region. Other star clusters abound in N11, including NGC 1761 at the bottom of the image, which is a group of massive hot young stars busily pouring intense ultraviolet radiation out into space. Although it is much smaller than our own galaxy, the LMC is a very vigorous region of star formation. Studying these stellar nurseries helps astronomers understand a lot more about how stars are born and their ultimate development and lifespan. Both the LMC and its small companion, the Small Magellanic Cloud, are easily seen with the unaided eye and have always been familiar to people living in the Southern Hemisphere. The credit for bringing these galaxies to the attention of Europeans is usually given to Portuguese explorer Fernando de Magellan and his crew who viewed it on their 1519 sea voyage. However, the Persian astronomer Abdul Rahman al Sufi and the Italian explorer Amerigo Vespucci recorded the bright galaxy in 964 and 1503, respectively.